Baldwin reports. This is the type of body scanner that's on its way to Exeter Prison. When it was installed here in Leeds, it found over 300 items of contraband within a year, including phones like this one, which prisoners use to order drugs from their visitors. Exeter's one of 16 jails that will get a scanner later this year, by which time it'll be two years since inspectors warned this prison had some of the highest levels of drug fuel violence in the country. Why has it taken so long? We absolutely need, need to ensure that when we invest uh, in measure, these are expensive bits of kit, and we absolutely need to ensure that public money is spent well. We know that these work, and that's why we're now rolling them out. And it's actually only part of a £100 million package that we're putting into security. The Prison Officers Association says this is a long overdue investment, which will help its members to regain order and focus on rehabilitation. The Police and Crime Commissioner has also welcomed the news. I think the biggest thing for me is people will be surprised that people aren't scanned when they go into a prison anyway. I think all of us believe that that's something that should have been happening many years ago. Um, not just because it's a violent or a high drug use prison, but because it's a prison. The Commissioner is one of those pushing for these scanners to also be installed at Dartmoor and Channing's Wood. It's not clear when that might happen, but the Ministry of Justice says as long as it works, the equipment will eventually be put into most jails. Ben Wolfin, BBC Spotlight, Exeter.